Hey guys, me Steve again. Going, um, you saw it a while ago on part one. I was doing a um, cork float. Um, it's going to be part two now, and what I'm going to be doing is giving it a little bit more sanding down. So it's just like these little bumps here. Just need to be sorted out, and then we're going to start painting it. So uh, we'll just get some other box. And I'm going to use a different Dremel, but we'll need my um, sand sheet down again. But I won't need too much of it. Um, and I'm going to need super glue. Is in there. Uh, paints, I'm going to have to quickly run in that in the kitchen, get them the paints from the kitchen. Just bear with me for a second. Right. Okay, so um, you probably need your mask again and your uh, safety goggles. Right, get a float. I don't really need to be. Sticking stone like I did earlier because it's only going to be a small. I'm doing this one. Right. Okay, so I'm going to come around. I'm just going to give it a little kind of um, sanding. I might have to put it back on the uh, yellow Dremel. I'm like messed up here, so I'm going to put it on the other drum on me. I 
med att vänta att kunna ha ett hos mänskastologer. Så det är bara inte bara en Learn by your mistakes, I'll say that you guys. Learn by your mistakes. Come on, that walk right away. Oh, and that's splitting, that's splashing and getting into the Dremel and blowing up in front of my face. So what do I do with the... Um, So I just need to smooth it down a little bit more. Just need to smooth that little bit down there. Then it'll be perfect, don't we? I'm actually going to make this uh, a little bit thinner as well. Thank you. 
No, oh, this is me kind of like test flow. If it works, then I'll take more time and more care in doing them. And uh, see, that one is kind of damaged, so I ain't gonna be able to use that one now. Um, what if I do another flow? Okay. So I lost my other float which I had a little while ago. I'll use this one, uh, it's a bit better conditioned anyway, so I'll use this one. Uh, that one I'll work on again later. This one ain't too bad. Uh, a little bit of a sand down, get some of that what's the name off little lumps this one ain't too bad actually done a better um, job on this one than I have on that one so um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to stick that part as the bottom of the float, get a skewer stick, no, I ain't going to have it too big, and what I'm going to do is get a bead, an orange bead, and a soup glue, and I'm put some soup glue on here. And then stick that in there like so. Maybe a tissue to find that excess of glue that's just run down. And then pliers you snip that bit of extra wood off if I can 
something if we can't. And then get a knife or blade and just trim it off. And just give that a quick rub. And then just move that down. So you got your little knob there, like so. And now it's time for painting. Now one thing we're doing is painting this like um, an orangey colour. Or a pinky colour, depends on what paint I've got actually. I seem to have lost some paint. Um, I might actually do it red. No, yellow. Do it, do it yellow. And then part of the actual flow, I'm going to do red. And the rest will be probably black. Um, right, so I need my paintbrushes. And this one has been used as a red colour. Uh, that one, I think, was black. Yeah, that one was black. And this one was red. So that one's going to be red, that one's going to be orange, and the other one is black. So what I need now is a stick. I'm actually going to cut a bit of this off because I'm not going to use all this anyway. So, um, keep losing things, pliers. I'm going to have it back, possibly like that. And then give this a stir. So I'm going to paint this bit yellow. And I'm probably going to have to do two coats later. I'm going to do one coat now. Then I'll do another coat later with that recording it. And I'll show you the final float later. Now be careful because some of these um, cheaper paint brushes, the hair does come off quite regular. So I'll put it in water. Best way to actually clean your brushes is get turpentine or white spirit, stick it in overnight and it does clear most of the uh, paint off. Okay, so just stick that there for a second. Give this a wipe off. So I now need to stir the red paint. These paints you can get in um, home base. 
they're like little tester paints and they're one pound 49 each you get various colors you get like a lime green black uh, yellow red a kind of a pink color another pink color different type that's more like skin color that's more of a, a darker color and then as I say red I've got two reds and two blacks so I'll be using a lot more black and red than any other color so now I need me red paint brush I'm going to try not to get it on the yellow, but there is possibility that there might be a little bit on it. And I'm going to do it up to about here. About halfway. No, I ain't got to be dead straight. But the straight is better it is. So, might have like little gaps, which might be a little bit awkward to fill in. I'm going to keep the bead orange as it is. You could use this like for a carving float possibly or a pike float, perch float. You could even use it sea float if you wanted to. Is that red? Now for the black, where have I done with it? those out of the way, I don't need those ones. Yeah, I suppose if you really wanted to, you know, you could always um, finish the painting right until it dries off and then put some glow in the dark on your tip, which I might do, I don't know yet. So I need something for the nail to put this in, so I'm going to use my little box. Just kind of messed up all the yellow. I need to do another coat on the yellow anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. I try to give you a stick a wipe off, unless you use, you know, a stick, a separate stick for each color. That might be probably better actually. And then black, give the black a stir. The black seems to be a lot more thicker. And once it's dried, I'll probably oh crap, we'll turn it upside down like so and paint that all black as well which I'm going to do now it's going to be a little bit more awkward to do actually so I might have to trim that off a little bit later
paintbrush is a slightly different one to the one I normally use. It's actually gone over the red a little bit, but I can touch that up with more red later. These paints actually do dry quite quick in about 10 15 minutes. And I'll either use either a but um what I called a band on these or I might put an eye on later. Might put an eye on it actually. There we go. We've got a head there. That's off now. So I've just gone over slightly on the red there. Could actually just go around a bit more. Paint over the red itself. I found a way that if you don't like what we've done, just get a uh, a baby wipe and just give it a wipe off rather quickly, and then you should be able to start again. I don't think you're ever going to get a, a float. Not, not a homemade one anyway. Done to perfection.
repeat going over too much. As long as I've got some red, I suppose. And I always paint them over the black with the red again later. I'll just keep going too far up. ruin this one mm -hmm. just too much black on it but once it's dried I'll probably be better to paint that red over the black again it ain't too bad you know, as long as I can see some of the red I'll probably do another video later, just finishing it off. Um, you know, I will paint a second coat offline without doing the video, but I will do one more video of me putting the eye on and showing you the final touches. I'm going to stick that in. Oops. Stick that. Right, so I'm just let it dry off now. Now I need to do the yellow. Probably do the yellow quickly again now. Because that's got little bits of red on it. Where my hands went around it. If you really want to at the end, you could give it a quick sand down. The next one will just be me putting the eye on and then putting a coat of varnish on it. Just mucked up the black now. Go. Just got to leave that to dry off. Go and wash my hands. So I've got a load of paint on my hands now. And uh, next video will be in about an hour's time, probably, when it's all dried off. And you'll see the finishing touches, hopefully, which will be uh, after the second coat, putting the eye on and then varnishing it. So I will keep this in here for now, and I'll uh, probably give that a bit of a touch up later on tomorrow. I only need one. I just want to take one out with me, test it. Um, I have gotten these little ones, which I'll uh, probably take one out with me and muck around and see if that works on them. Put a stick on now. I'm going to get enough on it.
Oh, come on, get it on there. It all fails. Get the drill. Put another tip on this one. Probably might put a nice little pink one on this one. Like so. I should do an actual uh, second colour on this one, not going to bother. I want to do so. I'm always losing things. I'm always losing things, guys. I can't find super glue in there. I hate opening a new pot. No, oh, I'll have to lock that later. But yeah, I'll uh, get this one finished off. Oh, there it is. Oh, I lost the lid now. Uh, God, I'm always losing. I'll tell you, my head won't screw it on. I'd lose that too. Seriously, I would. So it's like that. You can always bring it down a little bit, don't know. Depends how I really want it. Depends how big I want the stick. Or the, uh, the base. Probably have it like that. Get okay, a bit of soup glue around here. Just bring it up. And I'll need to do that with the uh, other one as well, which I've got to do. And I'm not going to slide that up and down, I'm just going to leave it and tap some glue around the bottom there. Plus, I'll probably put a little bit of um, um, fly thread around the bottom so it won't slide up and down. Right, okay guys, thanks for watching, and I'll get back to you later on um, for the final touching up, and I'll catch you later. Cheers for watching. Bye for now.